Hi, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. Hey, I really don't know how to introduce this next bike. I mean, what is it? Or what was it? Is it even rideable? Well, let's find out. Alright, so now we're going to give this bike a test run. It's been sitting a while, but we got it running. It started out, I think, as a Moto Guzzi Eldorado. That would have been 73, 74. You can tell it's an Eldorado by the cross hatching in the lower cases. Because the 750 Ambassador had smooth external cases so that would make this an 850 and I think a 5 speed it was built by a fellow named Don Fruit in Wisconsin now Don has built a handful of bikes he's got one in the National Museum in Iowa it's a, a Buick aluminum V8 motorcycle connected to an Indian three-speed with reverse. That's probably his most famous build. He's also got a Dodge Omni GLH turbo powered motorcycle that he built um, more recently. I think that was his last build. And the interesting thing about that is he described it as you could take the power takeoff from where one of the half shafts would have come out on the front wheel drive unit. I spoke to him a couple years ago. He was 77 years old. So he might be close to 80 now. He was trying to sell that Dodge turbo powered motor. It's pretty cool. There's a picture of it. I didn't get this bike from Don. I got this bike from a fellow called the Ice Cream Man from Hell. Now the Ice Cream Man from Hell, he's kind of a, and I say this nicely, I don't mean anything derogatory, he's kind of a C-rated celebrity. He's well known in the motorcycle world for, well, namely for emceeing wet t-shirt contests most often at the Reading Motorcycle Club, but all over. Uh, he comes down to Florida every year, although I don't know now with this COVID thing. Uh, I met him years ago, and I don't remember if I met him at the Carlisle Car Show or the Harmony Antique Motorcycle Show. I don't know if it was him or my father described him as someone you wouldn't want your daughter to date. Now, he's actually a real friendly guy. He wrote a book, which I read. It's called Your Next. Jimmy Trotta, that's the ice cream man, and his wife, Angelina. Well, I mean, you can tell by the pictures. I call it Tales of Debauchery. Um, well, because it's stuff you wouldn't see me doing. Let's say he's a free spirit. Uh, he's a very friendly guy, so I don't mean it in, in, in any judgmental way. Uh, but here's this book. And this was his bike for many years. That's his logo. Eh, it's not really a Hell's Angel death head, but it has that 1% look to it. He's not a one percenter. I don't think he's club affiliated anywhere. I think he's just a biker. But uh, let's see what it's like to ride this thing. So, I mean, you've heard about where you sit on a motorcycle or you sit on top of a motorcycle 
on race bikes, they say. You sit with your ass on the crack, motocross with your junk on the calf. But this is one bike that you really sit in. And it's not so much a, a lounge as it is a go-kart or a recliner. Well, let's see if it starts, see if I remember how to do it. Oh, this is weird, man. Check out these dinky mirrors. Alright, let's get going. There we go. Oh man, I don't know. Well, in a straight line it seems okay. Doesn't seem terribly unstable. I'm not used to the location of these pedals. By way of rear suspension, boy, I have trouble reaching those shifters, huh? Don't stop too well. I guess you're supposed to Flintstone your feet? I don't know. Oh, well, that seems sketchy. It's good in a straight line. I don't remember if Eldorados are four speeds or five speeds. I think they're five. Okay. You got to get used to the location of the pedals. I got no turn signals. To stay away from dirt roads for now. She's idling good. Grabbing that front brake as hard as I can. Don't do much. Okay, so you pull out slow, I guess. And you jackrabbit over the railroad tracks? No, I'm not gonna do that. I wonder what happens if I turn left. Oh, this, oh, it turns into dirt. Can I do it? Can I do it? Without putting your feet, no, oh, I put my feet on the ground. So, if that was my driver's test, I would have just flunked. So my advice is, don't take your driver's test on a Dan, a Don Fruit custom chopper. Giving it back drum brake all I can, add a little to the front. Ugh. Doesn't do much. I'm always afraid to pull out because I got to pull out so freaking wide. Shut 
checking for cops because I'm sure I'll draw some attention. Wow, it's perfectly fine down the highway. That front end is absorbing the bumps pretty well. Yeah, I guess if you build choppers, you don't really care about turning around much. I'm trying to think of where I can turn around. In here we'll go. Left arm out. All right, gotta grab them brakes. Hey, I guess that means you can get the hang of it. One gear. Eldorado has a five-speed gearbox. You can see that front end working good. Very comfy, man. So you got to turn. Well, let's see. No horn. No horn. Well, that wouldn't pass inspection. Grab a handful of brake. <coughs> once you get over the initial shock I might have to ride this more dead end dead end where's my road I guess it's here. School, no turns. Well, today's Saturday. Them brakes just don't really do much. I'm digging it. This is our road. Grab a handful of brake and nothing happens. One last gas before we go. Ah, we get in trouble. I don't want someone to call in my shop. Hey, a bunch of hoodlums at this shop. Send the cops. It's got that lopey Harley idle that shakes, but it's it's backwards, it's Italian, it's sideways, or whatever. It's lopey, thumpa thumpa, potato potato, but it's wrong. So wrong. <laughs> 